Dear Ones I am Archangel Michael. Following a new path. Following a new direction. In search of our union, in search of our affirmation in the universe. Each of you is one of my warriors of light, and are a Gregor, yes, because I am in it too, it is getting bigger and bigger. This is what is important, that each one of you feeds this egregore, with your love, with your light, with your trust, throughout the entire process. We are increasingly able to elevate hearts, elevate minds, evolve you. This is fantastic. As I said, a few videos ago, you are all being watched and protected in a very loving and respectful way. Without anything, not even your free will, being invaded. I have noticed in the hearts of some that you are afraid, because of the attacks that you are suffering. Yes, a large number of you are being attacked. Many are panicking, they are letting themselves be carried away by what is happening around them. So I'll tell you this, I've said this several times, but it doesn't hurt to repeat, whenever you feel threatened, wherever you are, whatever time you are, call me immediately. Remember, our connection is stronger than everyone else's. So each one of you who calls me has me by your side, much faster. So just call me. There's no need to think about what prayer I'm going to say to talk to him, no, no, just shout, my archangel, help me. Immediately I will be there, and I will protect you, and I will help you, just call my name. We're agreed then. I don't want anyone here being attacked, and desperate not knowing what to do. Many have their relatives attacked, so that they suffer, so that they feel it in the flesh. What's the procedure? The same. Call for me at the same moment, regardless of whether I am awake or not, it's up to him to believe me, or not, I will help you. So my brothers, the recipe is given. No one needs to suffer attacks anymore. Suffered, call me, immediately, don't be desperate without knowing what to do. Now you know. I don't want to scare anyone, but our journey is bothering a lot of people, and a lot will be done to destabilize us. Realize, I am placing myself in your midst. Of course, no one destabilizes me, but I want to show you that we are a group, that we are an army. Yes, I'm your commander, but it's my army. So, I'm together. I'm not sitting in a chair ordering you around. No, I'm together, inside the battle fighting like each one of you. So we are all together. We are a group. You are my warriors of light. So we are all together. What do we have to do now? Emanate love, emanate light and forgive those who are suffering some mistakes, ask the sky to illuminate them, that makes them see the truth, that makes them find the light again, find the right path. That's what we have to wish for our brothers. Not be angry, not have grudges, not have hate. These are feelings that you no longer resonate with. Remember, you have evolved. Then these feelings can no longer resonate. That's what I said a few videos ago, you might even feel it. Oh, I felt it. Perfect. Take a deep breath, return to your balance. It happened. It's like I say, you're still there, all negative vibrations, all the triggers to get you off track are there, all the time. Hitting them, all the time. So will you fall? They go. Will you slip? They go. But what do you have to do? To perceive. Oops. I slipped. I noticed. I took a deep breath. I asked for help. I cleared my heart. So my brothers, the journey is together. We are not separate beings, we're all brothers, children of our father or mother God, energies resulting from the Creator. So. Our journey is together, it is united. Those who are stronger, holding hands, with those who slip more, so that they stay on their feet longer. 
Those who are lower, being humble and knowing how to ask for help from those above, without considering themselves inferior, only the walking is even more difficult. So brothers, let's stay strong. Let's unite, because our union is what will keep us standing, is that it will make this egregor increase more and more, regardless of what is happening around. All around, it's not our problem. Our problem, in fact, is not a problem, our motto is we are together, fighting to help each other and to all be those pillars of light. Yes, yes, I am including myself among you. Of course, my pillar is a little bigger, but we will all be pillars of light, and that is your role, their missions. Spread the light at the right time. So my brothers, you already know what to do. Any problems just call me. Just say my name. Just say my name, and I will be right there, helping each of you. Today we are going to talk about a different subject. I don't think I've ever spoken here on the channel since I started this series of teaching and procedure videos. By the way, how is the cleaning going? Wow, I see a lot of drawers turned over, lots of overturned boxes, lots of movement. This is fantastic. I'm loving this whole movement. And that. Ah, my brothers, what a great movement you are making. I'm even thinking about increasing the 21 days. Let's let time pass. We will leave. We are doing well. The walk is going at a good pace, but I'm thinking about it. Perhaps I will extend this time a little longer, as there are many people who will have difficulty complying, due to their work, due to their greater involvement with the world. So I'm thinking about it. Do not worry. No one will be late. No one will be harmed. So let's go. What's the topic today? Today's topic we're going to talk about, you. Yes, let's talk about human beings. What is the human being? Think about this, each planet has an atmosphere, it has an environment, it has a habitat. So each planet has its own shape, which is created and developed according to the environment. When human beings were created, they were very ugly. From the stories you have in your books, if you look at the first humans, they were very ugly. Very hairy, very rude in their walk and their speech. You practically didn't speak. So it's as if you were born an animal, but an animal with a thinking brain, a brain that would be capable of developing. So over time, you developed. Then many ask, how does development happen? I already told you this, but I'll explain it again. Each soul is a soul. Each soul has its own degree of evolution. So those that have already come with a greater evolution, are the ones that lead their era, they are the ones that make the rest develop. They are the ones who bring inventions, they are the ones who bring new technologies and so on. They are your scientists, they are your wise men, its writers. Those who have a world view a little different from your reality, who think a little further ahead. So, they are souls that have moved through time, that already come from the future time, to the present time so that humanity can evolve. Yes, this has been done over time. Many beings came from the future to the current time, or the time in which they lived, so that you could evolve, otherwise you would still be pounding stones, hunting to eat, the same way you were created, the same way you got here. Remember, you are products of many races. Some races have come this far that are not like you. They were modified to become earthly beings, so that the planet would have an identity. Yes, their souls are stellar. You came from other planets. Right, and I repeat again, you came here and your souls were reincarnated, but already in earthly bodies, so that the earth would have a body identity. You were the humanoid you are today, with two arms, two legs, one head. Everything in its place, as you think it is. It's funny, you think you're beautiful. There are a lot of people who think you are ugly. I already told you this. 
They think it's strange that you have hair, because the vast majority in the galaxy don't. There is no such anomaly in their bodies. It's funny, isn't it? You think this is beautiful, but this is an anomaly, because the majority of the galaxy doesn't have hair, has no hair. This was a specific thing here on this planet, so that you would have your earthly identity. You were characterized as earthly. So my brothers, you were created, through genetic manipulations. Yes, there was a lot of manipulation, there was a lot of implementation of a series of things, as I already mentioned, and there you are. They evolved over time, evolved over the ages, always maintaining this identity, this physical body that you have. And I tell you this, a lot of changes will happen in your physical body, until you reach the fifth dimension. No, you will not become little monsters, as many think. No, but you, how will I say, you will be modified, so that your bodies can resonate, in an equal way, with other bodies in the fifth dimension. You have to be ready to act as a fifth dimensional being. So their bodies will still change a lot. You will gain many things. Many, no, I won't say weapons, but many improvements, this is the word, many improvements in your bodies, so that you can effectively live in the fifth dimension. So don't start getting scared if you feel some different things in your bodies. Remember, you are already receiving fifth dimensional energy, direct from the central Sunday. So this energy is reacting with your cells, is modifying their bodies. Not for the worse, for the better, so that you can be well integrated into the fifth dimension. So, watch the changes. No, I'm not going to say here what will happen, because that creates an expectation, creates illusions, creates panic, it creates fear, it creates a lot of things that are not necessary now. I just say that you are changing. Internally, you are already changing. And little by little, you will see yourself change externally. This is part of the process. No, don't worry, some will change and others won't. No, everyone will change at the same time. So no one will be making fun of anyone. No one will laugh at anyone, because everyone will change at the same time. One thing that many of you, I hope not anymore, but many still believe in the limiting beliefs, that only a single couple populated this planet. My brothers, wake up. Why the difference between so many races? So many colors? So many sizes? So many different shapes? Because each point on the planet was colonized, let's say, by different species, by different races, who were molding themselves to the terrestrial race. But you are star races. Each one of you. You have the blacks, who came with darker skin, because they descend from star races where the skin is dark. You have Asians who are more yellowish, as you say. You have the perfectly white ones, the ones that are blonde, you have the white ones that have black hair. What do you mean, so much variety? from a single couple. My brothers, this story doesn't work anymore. This story fell apart a long time ago. Wake up. Please, you are star beings. All of you. You all have stellar souls. The earth is also a star. Many emerged here. Yes, many souls are fruits of this planet, not from outside, but the vast majority of you came from abroad because you came here, with the intention of learning to live on this beautiful planet, to fulfill some things that you chose. So you came here. Then my brothers, each of you, will begin to appear more and more, with your original races. No, you will lose your earthly identity, no, you won't, no one will have two heads, ten fingers or three legs. No, no, no. You will continue exactly as you are. The humanoids that you are. Just, with some characteristics of the original races of their souls, just that, so that you can be proud of where you came from. No, 
the pride, that low vibrational feeling that you feel, but the pride, the love of being part of that people, of that race that gave rise to you, that gave rise to your soul. So you will start to see, over time, some changes. Yes, and you will learn to live with the changes among yourselves. This will be very good, because you think you are the most beautiful and the most perfect in the universe, and you will see that this is not the case, that you are very similar to those who are coming there, and who are dying to show off for you. They just don't do it because they know it will cause panic. So my brothers, let's open your hearts, let's open their minds, you will be changed. You are being changed, regardless of whether or not you want it. It is the evolution of the planet, it is your evolution. Of course, each one in its own time, but everyone will be modified, especially those who are already resonating with the fifth dimension. Those who aren't there remain where they are. But those who are already resonating will begin to change. No, don't worry, you will not become ugly, on the contrary, you will be a very beautiful fifth dimensional earth race, and that all the planets will come here to meet you, because you will be beautiful. You will be the beings, let's put it this way, you will be one of the most beautiful races in the universe, because you are very different, and you will become more beautiful. Believe me. In the not too distant future, you will say, Wow, what a beautiful being I have become. I am beautiful. And they will say this every day, but not with superiority, to look to the side and say, Um, you're ugly. No, you will all be beautiful. You are all very beautiful, because this feeling of superiority and inferiority will not exist among you, of one finding himself more beautiful than the other. Then you will all be beautiful. Beautiful. So my brothers, wait. Wait with lots of love for this new being that is being born, this new being that will show itself there, in your physical body. Not in your soul, in your physical body. Are you resonating on Thursday, on Friday? Congratulations. You are starting to change. No, don't be afraid, and there's no point in not wanting to. Oh, I don't want to. You don't want to. If you don't want to, then you will stay and go back to Tercera. Because you will stop resonating in the fifth, but if you are resonating at the fifth or above, you are already changing. So, let's wait for these beautiful beings to appear. Believe me, you will be very beautiful. I am Archangel Michael. I am here, always beside each one of you. Ready to immediately help or guide anyone who asks me.